my lovers. Cancer Nation and their lovers. My name is Made for Love and welcome to your reading. No, I'm not in my usual spot. Um, I just came over, what I explain and all of that. I just came over to visit my mom and then I got stuck here because um, my brother had to go into quarantine, like official state quarantine where, where they give you a document and if you come out of your house, you will get arrested. Um, he had to go into quarantine and because we had contact with him, he, we had to self-isolate. And I didn't bring any of my tools because I was just planning to be here for a few days, right? So I pre-recorded some stuff and, and those ran out. So I only brought one deck with me. I didn't bring my tripod, didn't bring anything. So I'm just trying to improvise so that you guys can get your readings and your extended readings, okay? Okay, Cancer. So whilst I'm out here, I'm going to be living... <laughs> I am going to be living. I have been living. I mean, just absolutely enjoying my life. But anyway, that's besides the point. Um, I'm going to be um, transmitting sp um, spirit animal messages. So whichever animal that comes across my path once I'm meditating upon the sign, um, that is the message. So when I was meditating upon your energy, um, um, I saw a ladybug. It came right here. So I figure that is your message. So <clears throat> cancer. Ladybug. <clears throat> my goodness. Ladybug um, medicine um, is associated with metamorphosis because it is it goes it follows the same life cycle um, as the butterfly, the exact same life cycle, which is weird because all the animals that we've had come through, um, for the for the astrological sign readings have been associated with metamorphosis. We first started with the lapwing, then we had the green butterfly, and today we're having the ladybug, and they're all about metamorphosis and transformation. Okay, so it looks like that seems to be the common theme um, for the collective this month. Now, it follows the same life cycle as a butterfly. So, again, the eggs... The larvae that looks far from the beautiful ladybug, right? The larvae. And then the pupil stage where its whole body melts. It's completely broken down. And then finally emerges as this cute little ladybug that, well, most of us love anyway. So it looks like there's something that's going to be broken down. Whether it's yourself, your person, a foundation, some kind of false foundation. It could even be a karmic energy, karmic contract. There's something that's going to break down in order for something beautiful um, to emerge, okay? Um, ladybug spirit is also associated with innocence and it's associated with true love. Um, it's associated with divine intervention, a happy resolution to uh, a big problem, which um, I think the green butterfly and lapwing was also associated with. And of course, good luck, okay? So we're going to see how those particular themes um, will emerge in this reading. But it looks like this is what this whole month will be about. Change, divine intervention, something related to true love. There's going to be some kind of return to innocence, okay? And then opportunities, new opportunities um, for love and abundance. Good luck. Okay, so let us get into the cards and see what comes through. All right, so we're going to bend you guys down like that so you guys can see the cards. All right, so my one deck. And I can't even shuffle it properly on the table because the tiniest tripod in the world is balanced on that table there. And if I really shuffle, it is going to shake, so... I'm trying to do a mini shuffle. Okay. Let's see if I can get one more without that being too uncomfortable for you guys. Okay. So, Cancer, remember when you're watching these readings for love, you're not just going to watch your sun sign. You're going to watch your sun, moon, Venus, and your rising sign. And then you're going to watch your person's placements in those areas because when it comes to soul connections, the energies can definitely be flipped or vice versa in in meaning that the energies can be interchanged or you guys can actually be mirroring the same energy so it's always good to watch these readings twice one for yourself and one for your person 
okay and then you just be free like a bird and just choose whatever astrological sign reading that you want <laughs> and just follow your intuition okay don't put yourself in an astrological box because then you can be missing a beautiful message all right so we have the queen of pentacles all right so she's all about groundedness she's all about um the material world but having a good relationship with the material world she's very nurturing this woman can turn anything into gold i mean this is like oh gosh i forget the the well i don't want to say she's romping so skin but she can turn her into gold right <laughs> you know but th this woman can turn anything into gold and she's just i think she's the most empress-like queen that we have in the tarot um because she operates from a heart space even though she's all about the achievement she operates from her heart space so we have capricorn energy coming through so it looks like they're again just like ladybug spirit said there's going to be new opportunities um for abundance for love because there's so much green um in this card and it, it looks like there's some kind of change that's happening but i'm also thinking there's some goes there's going to be some kind of revelation of truth as well because this chain is right here, right in front of her throat chakra here. And Spirit is going to ask you to use your discernment to unpack the lies from the truth because I see um, there's that on her third eye. So, let's have a look. <clears throat> so, we're going to delve in deep into your person. We're going to get first a message from your person's higher self. I hope you guys will be able to see the cards properly. So, we have the chariot, Okay. They are moving forward. It looks like they're coming towards you. Um, their way is being lit by spirit. Okay, we have the sunflower here. The sunflower here. Um, that's the highest vibration of masculine energy. But, you know, it's also about um, the morning sun. That's spirit, okay? Um, so, your person's being led by spirit. And it looks like they're being led to come towards you. Um, they have harnessed their um, masculine and feminine energy. And there's some truth that they've downloaded because this guy is cloaked completely in blue and there are blue colors around the horses. So there's some kind of truth that your person has downloaded and this is allowing them to move forward with their life. Let me make sure I put it right I put it there. What else do we have here? Let me just... Should I? Just a tad. Sorry about that, guys. <clears throat> Let's look at how they're feeling. Not necessarily related to you. Okay, we have four of cups. And I am getting so much longing from this card. Really hoping that you guys can see it, right? So much longing. It, it, it's boredom, yes, but there's a longing in this. You know, they wish that they could be outside of wherever they are. Okay, it's like they're trapped in some particular place that they don't want to be. But spirit is keeping them company. And in fact, spirit has orchestrated this. Okay, so that this person has time um, to really reflect and go deep inside and to really figure out um, a lot about themselves, how they feel inside, because I'm seeing a lot of green here, and, how, and their spiritual beliefs, because there's this cat here. Okay, so your person is being confined in some particular way. Maybe they're in quarantine, I don't know. Right, but it's all orchestrated by spirit so that your person can download um, a lot of truth, and they have been. What are they healing right now? So, I'm gonna um, develop all these cards, flesh them out. I'm just pulling them out. What are they healing? We have the six of wands, they're working on their self esteem, they're working on their achievements, they're working on their dreams, their goals, okay, and um, their self concept. They're putting on their own laurels, their, the, their own crown on their head, okay? And I think they're also being recognized by others around them. I think previously your person, um, they had this really weird image of who they were. It's like they thought that they were this, you know, you know Cinderella um, before she got um, transformed by the fairy godmother. That's who, they, that's who they saw themselves as. Someone who was victimized, someone who was taken advantage of, okay? Someone who did all the, the labor in relationships and life, okay? But now they're recognizing their own worth and they're recognizing that, you know, their self-concept, what they think about themselves is not, is not necessarily um, reality, it's not necessarily truth, okay? 
they are downloading the truth about themselves okay so they're working on their self-esteem and recognizing the beautiful things within themselves that they can celebrate what are they experiencing right now on their twin flame or soulmate journey all right i told you it was all about truth okay so we have this queen of swords here libra energy coming through okay oh that's you cancer there with a chariot okay beautiful okay so let me just go back to the higher self message so spirit is definitely leading them towards you cancer i think you've sparked some kind of awakening within this person and this person really wants to show up um for you on this connection they have uncovered some sort of truth now this truth has energized them but it has also made them very bitter and i think i think it was either gemini check check the gemini reading or um the leo reading but they had this exact same card in this exact position there's some kind of truth that they've downloaded that's both energized them but it has also made them very bitter. Um, they are speaking their truth um, to those that they feel need to hear it. And they don't give a fuck about how it comes out. Wherever they are, it's really cold and frosty. Because something has been laid bare. We're going to pull cards. Something has been laid bare. It's something about their family. Mm -hmm. I see the tree in the background that has no leaves. There's something about a dysfunctional pattern uh, in their family that they have recognized. Your person is also some kind of priest or priestess. Okay, I see this table here and I don't know. There's a sacred geometry um, that's on the bottom. It's like an inverted pyramid. There's some kind of priest or priestess. And it's like they're also acknowledging the truth of that. Maybe other people in their family line tried not to acknowledge that part um, of themselves. And so because they didn't, this tree, this tree brought, bore no fruit. I'm also getting their family line. Maybe um, people may have um, issues. I know it's kind of triggering, okay? So bear, bear with me after deliver the message. Issues um, bearing children or maybe children pass away or miscarriages. But it's because people aren't stepping into the truth of who they are. And that's why um, the tree isn't bearing fruit. Yeah, I know that's triggering, but that, that's the message that came through though. Okay. Let's get a message from their 3D self. Yes, Bruce, it's, it's something karmic. It, 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 yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's ancestral karma. They're letting you know that it's ancestral karma. It's something they are meant to transmute in this lifetime. They're meant to bear um, new fruit. Okay, um, let's see what their 3D self wants you to know. All right, Nine of Pentacles. So their three D self wants you to know exactly. Uh, they want to know about their, They want you to know about their healing. This person has been working hard on themselves. They've been working in the vineyard, okay, working hard on themselves and working hard on their pentacles, okay. Um, they want to be independent. I think this person has lived a very codependent life. For some of them, they might have even been, you know, jigglers, gold diggers, okay, always having a handout to someone else. But this person is finding joy um in being themselves and being close to the earth maybe they've been engaging in a bit of farming or planting whatever it is it's some kind of grounding techniques and this is bringing them a lot of joy a lot of happiness and making them recognize who they truly are inside it's also spirit saying it's also laying a new foundation for them um, to be incredibly prosperous. Remember we got that message um, about abundance, new opportunities in abundance and love. So that is emerging. Okay. We talked about metamorphosis. Your person is definitely changing because there's some kind of truth that they've downloaded here. 
Okay, so let's get a little deeper into these cards. Now, the higher self message, the higher self is letting you know that they are on their way. They are moving towards you, Cancer, the Cancerian energy, first card that popped out here. So they're moving towards you, and it is because they have found out the truth about something. Now, it could be the truth about themselves, but this the truth about themselves is also linked to some kind of ancestral truth. So I'm going to pull cards and see if I can find out what that truth is, okay? So let's see. They're moving towards you because they're being spurned on by some sort of truth. What's it about? Uh, the, you see, the devil... Now, the thing is, when I, when this card, when I turned over this card, I said, I, I said, you know, like the lovers, right? But this is what this person's recognizing. They have learned a valuable lesson. And the lesson that they've learned is the difference between true love. And remember Ladybug Spirit, it's about true love, right? It's the difference between true love and temptation or codependency. This is what they finally downloaded. I think in their family line, they have a bunch of codependent and toxic relationships and your person grew up thinking that that was normal but now they're realizing no it's not this has nothing to do with love and it's been a big struggle for your person your person's been hurt i don't know if you can see the, the people in these in this card clearly but they've all been bruised by these thorns they've been wrapped up with some kind of karmic that has hurt them over and over and over again but now they're recognizing the truth of that um, and they're moving on. So they're breaking this part, this family pattern of being in codependent relationships. Yeah. Healing their heart. We have the five of cups in reverse. And it's allowing them to heal their heart. Because I think <clears throat> your person fancied themselves as a victim. Like everybody hurt them. But they were really hurting themselves um, by attracting... Um, these sort of partners and it's because of their vibration and their programming and they're recognizing that now so yes people hurt them yes people hurt them but they also paid a part in hurting themselves and they're realizing that and as they heal their heart they, they are releasing um, this vibration of codependency this devil energy this addiction for some of them it is a sex addiction okay and again it's 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 a family um, a family pattern, a toxic family pattern. Now, how are they feeling? Well, they're bored as F. Okay, but um, they're also yearning for something different. For something unlike what they've experienced before and what they're experiencing now. Yeah, they want love, you see. I'm also feeling that they feel hemmed in and trapped. Not just physically, but also their feelings have no outlet this is the king of cups and the king of cups has a big heart and intense emotions but you know what he doesn't say shit about them he keeps them inside because he's afraid and people don't realize that about the king of cups the king of cups is afraid to get hurt even though he's a mass of emotions he's afraid to get hurt <clears throat> so he keeps his emotions inside until he's sure, and sometimes he's never sure because Scorpio don't trust nobody, right? <laughs> it's a catch-22, right? Scorpio don't trust nobody. <laughs> They're waiting for that moment to trust the right person, but they don't trust anybody. So they keep all this inside. The depth of their emotions, they're never fully revealed because there's always a piece that they keep for themselves. And I think that's what your person used to do. Well, they're, they're frustrated. This keeping their emotions inside, it, it's like it's killing their spirit, and they see that now. We have the Ace of Swords, so they know how they feel, and they know how they feel about whom. But it's like right now they feel like they have no outlet, um, to express those emotions. Okay. Now they are working on their self-esteem. We have the Six of Wands. Spirit, tell us a little bit about it a bit more about that we have the lovers okay so you're meeting the soul contract between you guys um it's triggered a big awakening um it's triggered a big journey and it's a journey back to themselves it's a journey um to self-love and true love look at all these doves um here surrounding um this angel and it's a big heart awakening for your person because this angel is clothed completely in green. And they are even kneeling 
on the angel's ground. So your person is building a new foundation as a foundation based on truth. And it's a foundation based on love and, <clears throat> and heart healing. And you know, there they are, standing in their masculine energy. And look, we have Gemini and we have Leo, which is the two readings I was telling you guys to go check out. So even if you don't, you're not dealing with someone who's a Gemini or Leo, check out those readings because I think they're going to resonate for you. <clears throat> so the more they allow themselves, their heart to crack open, and they, the more they allow themselves to be led by their heart space, is the more in their power and the more empowered they feel. Yeah, this is this is alpha male energy. Even if they they might be female in body, this is a stag. The stag run things, right? <laughs> he run things. <laughs> this is a stag. This is the leader. Now, what are they experiencing on their twin flame or soulmate journey right now? Well, we have this queen of swords there. Okay. And usually when she's upright, you know, she's not bitter when she's upright. She's just cautious. But this one looks bitter. Okay. There's something that they have recognized. You see, the Eight of Swords. They have rec they recognize that the things that they have they were taught they were taught as a child has kept them stuck. The things that they built their foundation upon has kept them stuck, has kept them limited, okay, has kept them trapped. And there's a lot of resentment that I'm feeling. I'm off of this card. These two cards, a lot of resentment, you know, and they're really pissed off that the, the, it's the hand that rocked the cradle that imprisoned them like this. So I'm feeling a lot of resentment towards parental energy, whoever might have been their caregiver, okay, because that person tried to limit them, but they are standing in their power now. I told you, there's big awakening energy. This is the Ace of Wands. And that's about, you know, embracing um, your spiritual power. It's about leadership. It's about taking action. Um, for some of you guys, it may be about Kundalini energy. Okay? But they're recognizing the truth of who they are. They are just powerful beings. But there's someone in their life that tried to limit them. That tried to hedge them in. And that's because this person was afraid. They were afraid. And spirit saying this is this is ancestral. Whatever this programming was, it prevented a lot of persons in their line from accepting and embracing their spiritual gifts and their soul purpose. So we had a long line of people running from their spirituality, running from their mission, running from their soul work. Because of fear. And your person seeing that now. They're resentful. They want you to know that they're working on themselves. They're working on their abundance. Okay. We have the Knight of Swords in reverse. Now, I think for some of them, they're working secretly. Um, especially if they might be partnered with someone else. They are doing something on the side um, with regard to their finances that their partner does not know about. They're moving in stealth. They don't want their partner or people around them or colleagues to know about this project that they are working on. So they're working hard, but they're not telling anybody about it. Okay, because it's just not time for people to know. They feel like if they tell people about what they're working on, that they will sabotage it in some particular way. Now, for some of you, your person is going through a divorce. We have the four of wands in reverse. And they don't want their, their partner to know about their secret stash of money. 
they're hiding that from them. Nine of Cups. Yeah, but your person is working on themselves. Their self. <laughs> and bam. Look who's starring in the pic. The last card. <laughs> Madam Ladybug. Or maybe it's Mr. Ladybug. Right? So just to reinforce the message. Okay? So your person working out on themselves in terms of transforming themselves. They're focused on manifesting this true love connection with you. Okay? There's been some kind of divine intervention into their life. And they're focused on new opportunities for abundance and happiness. So Ladybug Spirit really came through for us this morning. So let's get into how they feel about you um, right now. <clears throat> oh, crap. Right. <clears throat> so the next Cancerian Major Arcana came through, and this is the, the moon. Okay. So, Cancer, you are on their mind. First card here, first card in their heart space. Okay. So we have Cancerian Energy, the moon. We have the Seven of Swords reversed. Beautiful. I love that when it's reversed. And then Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn Energy pops up again. All right. So what are they thinking about you? They think that you have everything. You are everything that they could ever imagine and more um, in terms of a life partner. Um, maybe even a business partner, you know, because the Capricorns are all about the business as well, right? But they see you as loving. They see you as grounded and they think that you have it all, especially in terms of the material world. And they want to be um, on your vibration. But they're, they're just nine of pentacles energy. You're a whole queen right now. Okay, so you're about two steps ahead, but this person wants to level up. I think they're listening to their intuition, and you uh, are starring in their heart space. They think you're so mystical, so beautiful, so wise, so wise, so authentic. I'm seeing her long blue hair. Okay, and hair is always a symbol um, of wisdom. And then there's the green, and the green is all about the heart chakra. So they see you as the truth and they recognize you as their true love. So we have that true love message that comes through. But your, your spirituality is calling to this person. You're sparking something inside of them. You're sparking this, this intuitive approach that they're adapting to life. You're sparking them, you know, wanting to stand in their authenticity. Because they're tired of living a lie. Look, we have the Seven of Swords in reverse. Their whole ancestry has been living a lie. They're tired of it. Right now, they want to be their authentic self. And you are setting down an example for them because they see you as one of the most authentic persons that they know. They're tired. They want to be just like you. They want to level up. And they see how you being your authentic self has manifested um, so much stability and abundance in your life. You are shining. Gosh. Oh. I'm drawing my attention to the lady shape here. She's quite voluptuous. So for some of you watching that might be bigger. Yeah, because this lady has a kind of double chin. Okay, so if, you, if you're a big girl, woman, or, or man, or whatever, however you identify. If you're bigger, um, this definitely might resonate for you. Because there's something about you that... Maybe society vilifies or doesn't accept um, as traditional beauty. So it's in, it may not be your size or body shape, but there's something about you that you're incredibly self-conscious about. This is actually a thing that they like about you. So for some of you, it's your size. For some of you, there's some kind of double chin. For some of you, I, I see this lady is kind of cross-eyed. For some of you, you're cross-eyed. For some of you, you don't have any eyebrows. 
others of you, you kind of have a, a, a kind of quirky kind of nose. It's kind of tilted um, to one side. For some of you, you used to be a swimmer. And you have this guy, you know that swimmer's hump? I used to have that. Um, that swimmer's hump in the back there that you're self-conscious about. They like that. For some of you, you have weird-looking fingers. Kind of like alien-like. I don't know. This guys, this is just what's coming through. For some of you, you have um, what do they call that um, syndrome? Is it Marfan's, where you have these elongated um limbs and fingers, kind of bendy? They like that. But there's something about you that society doesn't usually accept as beautiful. That's the thing that they love about you, so they want you to know that. All right, now union getting together, okay, coming into alignment, um, it, it's, a, it's, it's something that's energetic, okay, so there has to be that energetic alignment, so how are you blocking this connection, Cancer, what do you need to work on, what's your healing path right now, okay, so we have Leo energy coming through with the sun, you got to focus on your happiness, <laughs> Focus on your happiness. Focus on standing in your power. Focus on shining. Okay? Focus on being your authentic self. Okay? Following that joy vibration. Following what makes you happy right now. And stop giving your... Or putting your happiness into this person's hands. So Spirit is saying right now you need to focus on what's going to make you happy. And you see, when we're in that vibration of happy, when we're, in that, we're high, when we're in that high vibe, we can manifest anything that we want to. Anything. <clears throat> when we're in that vibration of longing, then we only manifest more longing. But when we're in that vibration of joy, then we manifest things to be happy about. Okay, we have the five of cups in reverse. Spirit saying that there are things that you need to heal too. Your heart has been broken. Five of cups in reverse. Your heart has been broken. And some of your experiences have influenced um, how you view this relationship and how you view this person when it was just a kind of projection of your own wounding. So Spirit saying, you also have to focus on your heart healing as well. I'm going to pull a card on it in a moment and see exactly um, what aspect or what in particular um, Spirit wants, to, wants you to focus on, okay? Let me get another card. Oh, shit. Okay. We have the Page of Swords. Okay. So, the Page of Swords is all about a message. But the Page of Swords is the Stalker card. <laughs> Spirit saying, stop that. <laughs> stop that. Because, you know, the Stalker energy, um, it, it always insinuates some kind of obsession some kind of longing, some kind of yearning. And again, this low vibe and saying, stop it, stop it. <laughs> They're saying, go boldly forward. Okay. Oh, you see, we talked about ladybug being a symbol of innocence. And there's actually a little bug on this arm. On this, ooh. On this deck. I think it's a scarab beetle, but it's a bug. Anyway, so, and we talk about ladybug spirit being associated with innocence. The spirit saying, listen. It's time to take a leap of faith. It's time to return to innocence. That 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 time in your life where you weren't hurt, you weren't wounded, where you know everything was just so positive and wonderful. That's the kind of outlook that you need to have on life because you thinking about gloom and doom and everything that can go wrong and your past experiences in love and the hurt and the pain is only going to bring more of it and manifest more of it. The more you expect this person to hurt you, the more this is going to manifest. Let me see what aspect in particular of heart healing they want you to embrace. All right. So we have the Empress in reverse, which is a distorted feminine. Okay. So what is the distorted feminine energy about? Distorted feminine energy is energy that is codependent, clingy, stalkerish. <laughs> right? stalkerish okay because as long as we are doing that okay and we're focused on somebody else we're not focused on our own healing our own journey our own path okay um so it's clingy it's codependent it's highly manipulative not in the best way okay because 
The magician is manipulative, but he is manipulating the elements in order to manifest. Okay, but this distorted feminine, she's manipulative because she's manipulative to control others. Okay, so there's some part of you that's also operating from a place of fear where you feel you have to control the situation, you have to control people, and you have to do that through some kind of machinations. So Spirit is saying, this is a part of yourself that you need to look at. Um, so for some of you, there's still some kind of karmic patterns or some toxic patterns um, that you are still vibrating in, and they, and they just want you to have a look at that, okay? All right, so based on what we're seeing here, what can we expect? Will be this person's actions towards you within a month of you watching this reading. So we have the Knight of Wands in reverse, Saji. We have the Five of Wands in reverse. Leo Sagittarius Aries energy. So lots of fire coming through here. We have the Seven of Wands reverse. And we have the world in reverse. Now, I see that they're still going to be embroiled in some kind of karmic cycle. But I see what they're doing is trying to wrap it up. Because what they're trying to, they will be trying to accomplish um, is to close off this karmic cycle where they're being this player, player energy. Okay, in and out of your life. They want to be more consistent. They want to be more dependable. And they know that in order to do that, all these people who interfered in your connection in the past... All these extra people that they had hanging around, all these other people that they were playing around with, they know that they need to eliminate them, okay? And that they need to work on their boundaries. So I see that there is a lesson in boundaries that they're still going to be learning, okay? But I think they're going to be gradually cutting the people out of their life and the cups, cutting the things out of their life that no longer resonates with them and their journey towards you and their own happiness, okay? So what's the advice for you right now? Besides the healing messages, what does the spirit, the spirit want you to know? One card. We have the two of swords. Okay. So spirit is saying right now you might be conflicted. Right now you might not be seeing clearly the way forward. Okay. To, right now you might be seeing this thing as a whole lose-lose situation. You don't know how to move forward. You don't know how to go back. You don't know how this thing is going to manifest. But spirit is saying you have to release this energy and trust. The solution that you can't see right now will gradually unfold. A solution will unfold in time. You just have to trust. Okay? And Spirit is also asking you to make up your mind as to what you want. It's either you want this connection or you don't. But you vacillating back and forth is also going to um, create this energy um, in your counterpart. Okay? You have to be grounded, stable, and focused um, on, on what you know to be the truth. Okay. All right, Cancer, that was your message. I hope that it helped you. Grateful for your likes, subscribes, comments, dislikes. They all help the channel grow. And if you can go a step further and click on any of the ads that may have played um, during this reading, that's beautiful energy exchange for me. And please, I invite you to do it for any reader that you enjoy because everything must have an equal exchange of energy. All right, my loves. Take care. Bye.